Would you look at who it is? Morning! Sorry, kid. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. This morning, you joined me in Dingle, and he's returned. Mr. David O'Donovan arrived late last night, and we had a pitch up there in the van, and we got up this morning at Kuminol Strand, and now we're heading up to Dunquin. And it's going to be interesting actually to shoot Dingle at the dawn. Let's see how we get on. I've never done it before. I'm excited actually to see what we can get. So yeah, that's today's adventure. Let's join us and see. <laughs> it's it's a really really challenging spot dad to pick what your composition now that could possibly give you a couple of ideas where you should go I'll but go over here <laughs> i think there's probably about the grass it's probably about 150 million uh tripod leg marks from here but i do think this is going to be nice because with the clear sky that we have we're going to get nice light over there So the interesting thing about here is normally it's a sunset spot but I've never been here for sunrise and the beauty is there's nobody else here. As you can see by the ground it's quite a popular spot for people to come and stand and take one type of photograph so it is pretty much you know the, the honeypot location uh, of this area but for dawn I haven't seen that many photographs and what we're looking at right now is some haze in the distance, a bit of relatively clear skies uh, in the east and we might get a nice bit of colour with the islands lighting up here with the belt of Venus that I can start to see now as well in the morning uh, pinks that are there also so yeah done Quinn at dawn let's see how we go Jez I see you got the optimum position didn't you you got the bang smack in the middle one For this location there is only really one composition and it's exactly where I am at the moment here as you can see like I said from the outset where the floor is pretty much worn away is where people would come because you've got this winding out of the pier that leads out to the islands in the distance now I have actually shot as well from over in this direction over here uh, in the past and it gives you a completely different look and feel as well to the shot I might head over there actually at some point once the Sun will come up but as it stands right now uh, I'm shooting here at playing around I was doing a long exposure a moment ago but I'm going to go back to my settings that I'm going to be at which is at f11 and I'm going to have my ISO at 50 and I'm shooting here now at 0 0.3 of a second now I'm going to reduce that down and underexpose it because the sun it's hard for you to see on that here but the sun is just coming up on the other end right now and what that is going to do is give a bit of light above the islands and hopefully then as that will rise up we'll actually have a bit of direct light as well we'll hit those islands and we should get some nice shots so yeah sun is just coming up now so i'm going to wait around and hopefully i get some nice light like i said that hits the uh, the blaskets that are right here and then on farm arab as well which is over here Thank you. 
sun has come up now and I'm getting some nice light actually uh, on the horizon here. The belt of Venus was really, really nice and that's starting to fade away. And what I'm waiting now for is the sun to come up behind us here and to break the ridges of the mountains and hopefully we get some nice direct light as well then hitting the islands that are off in the distance. Never done this before, like I said, from the outset and I'm actually happy that I am because normally I'm shooting directly into the sun and it can be quite difficult from an exposure point of view. But today it's nice soft light now, at the moment anyway, that will gradually get harsher and harsher as the sun will come higher. But it's really nice, I think, to be able to get this shot anyway in an early morning. And like I said, nobody else here except myself and dad, obviously, but you know, it's great then to be able to have this all to myself. There's also, uh, a lot of haze in the distance too, so I'm hoping that once that hits a bit of light as well, it might light up and I think I might get some nice shots of the islands in the distance. This area in front of me is going to be in shadow for a long period of time until the sun uh, will come right up uh, behind you and light them up, but it'll be midday before this any, hits any way light at all and I won't be shooting at that point. Anyway, I've thrown on my 0.9 uh, graduated ND just to control the, the sky because it is getting a bit, that bit brighter now and allow me to, be able to have a long enough exposure that I can get the uh, winding pier below me. I've also went handheld a moment ago and there's a couple of uh, wild sea pinks and such like that that are down here and some other yellow flowers. I'm not quite sure what they are, but it was interesting to get a couple of shots as well with those because it adds something different into the foreground. But yeah, really happy so far. Dawn at Dunquin. And now we'll wait and see what happens when the sun will reach or break the, the ridge of the mountains and light up the area here. You can just see it now actually, lighting up a bit of the blaskets actually. So I'm going to crack on here. I'll check back in again in a moment once the light has come up and I'll talk you through what I'm doing at that point. The light on the islands is absolutely beautiful. As you can see here in the distance, you've got the Blasket on Blasket Moor, which is now being hit directly by the sun. Still hasn't actually reached the uh, ridges of the mountains that are behind me here, but nonetheless, it's lighting these up absolutely beautifully. Now, I'm changing around as well here. I'm at F10, I'm at one tenth of a second, ISO is at 100, and that's just controlling the light as well with the 0.9 ND, but it's absolutely beautiful here in the morning time. I think it's something that I'd like to do again, delighted now again to kindly come back here for dawn, but with this light, and I think the advantage, because there is no clouds as well, we are getting some nice direct light on the islands, albeit in haze, but it's still gorgeous scene here. Totally great to be able to be out, especially when I'm out with my buddy as well, who hasn't been here before. So he's uh, flying some drone footage as well here, and I think he's gonna get some nice shots as well also. Mm -hmm. 